So what's the difference between the Victron DC to DC converter versus the Victron DC DC charger? Hi folks, I'm Roger from Offgrid and in this episode we'll be looking fairly briefly at some of the key differences between the DC DC converter and where you would use that and the DC DC charger and where you would use that. Now the two items look fairly similar I and mean, there's a bit of a difference in size. Uh, this is capable of quite a lot more power than this but you get different models of the of uh, the DC DC converter and you can get them quite big actually and they look so similar and it the question is asked quite often one of the reasons that we've uh, done this video is because we've had uh, cases where people have bought one and then regretted it and and then wanted to change it for the other and so thought we'd just take you through some of the key differences between these two let's cover the converter now, the purpose of the converter is to take, it, it, well, where it's mostly used is uh, where you need some sort of 12 volt uh, power supply to run, let's say you've got a vehicle that has standard uh, 12 volt lights and you have uh, USB chargers and things like that, and you may have a battery that's not 12 volts, so uh, probably 24 volts or 48 volts. We did a, an install on a, on a boat recently that had we put in a few 48 volt batteries and they have a whole lot of 12 volt appliances that and their lights are 12 volts and everything in, in there is pretty much 12 volts so uh, we used a, a we actually used two really big converters bigger than this one to take the 48 volt and convert it to 12 volts to run everything and you can uh, you can run all of these things in parallel you can run multiple converters together in parallel or you can run multiple charges in parallel but essentially so this this here is an isolated uh, DC DC converter and I've taken this example because it's it's interesting this is 12 volt in and 12 volt out which is at 18 amps which is quite a sort of a strange one why, why on earth would you buy something that takes in 12 volts puts out 12 volts at uh, 18 amps one of the reasons is that as you can see the input is quite uh, variable so from 8 volts to uh, 17 volts so quite a big range so if you drop down to 7 volts it's going to stop but a very big input range and it's going to output quite a constant it, depending on the model that you get it should be I think it puts about 12 and a half 12 point something volts as standard and then uh, you can adjust it a little bit plus or minus 15 or 25 percent I think by changing this little screw here the potentiometer uh, so you can change it there uh, your output and that'll give you a nice constant output you'll be able to run your appliances so if you wanted a, a, a really constant voltage coming out no variation caused by uh, you know state of the battery or anything like that then this is a good idea because it'll take these variable voltages you know 8 to 17 volts and output exactly what you need nice constant voltage it's got cooling fins and it's a fairly big bulky unit compared to some of the, the the cheap stuff you get on Amazon and that sort of thing. The question is asked often on various forums now can I use this to charge my leisure battery from the alternator from the starter battery? The simple answer is a yes to a degree. So uh, it, it, it will take the variable voltage coming from your alternator convert it to something stable let's say you get it to go to 14.2 or whatever it will output that constantly and some people have tried to use this as a DC DC charger it's cheaper than the real DC DC charger and that's one of the reasons why people like to to try and save a little bit of money and use this and it will charge your leisure battery but uh, there are a few drawbacks so firstly it's not a current limiter and with your DC DC charger you want it to be limiting current to uh, what it needs at, at the time and also it has no easy way of determining that the engine is running so as you can see it's got these little things here so you got these uh, for, for a remote but basically to, in order to run this these just get bridged so you're not you're not actually detecting the voltage to know when to turn on and off so this will just run all the time unless you have some sort of relay activated by your D plus or you know voltage sensing relay or something like that to close this off to get this to turn on when the engine is running 
So none of the fancy stuff that you find in the DC-DC charger to know when the engine is running, when it's not running, and it also doesn't really have the ability to, to uh, bring the current down under cir certain circumstances. So yes, you can clutch it and use it as a charger, but it's not really designed for that. There is an overlap between the two in that they can each do a bit of each other's uh, functions, but I, I would use this as, as I mentioned before, in, in that install of the boat, I would use it in places where you don't have 12 volts, so you've got a 24 volt battery or a 48 volt battery, or you need absolutely constant voltage. And you've got some very sensitive bit of machinery that needs to run, say, 12 volts. So even though you already have a 12 volt system, because of the variations in the, in the voltage when your battery is being charged versus at rest, etc., maybe you need something that is absolutely constant. And this would do the trick. And that's where I would use these. I would probably put a remote switch so that you can turn it off when it's not needed so you're not uh, using up juice for nothing and yeah it's got a positive and negative input and a positive and negative output so that's the converter let's uh, look at the charger so bigger heavier bulkier in this particular case this is a non-isolated so it's got a common uh, negative or common ground and you've got a, a positive in and a positive out. Again, the voltage range is very similar. So you've got uh, eight to 17 volts and the output is whatever it, you've uh, set it to. And you can set this with uh, Bluetooth to go up to the exact voltage that you want. It's capable of a bit more power than that uh, in this particular instance. But one of the things that I like about this is it's got this little uh, socket here that you can, it, it the default is to simply bridge it, which means that it then runs off the um, the voltage of the uh, starter battery to know when it needs to actually be charging versus not charging. But you can also override that by using D+. Plus. So you put your D+, plus to uh, the right-hand one here, and uh, that will turn this uh, charger on and off. So a very easy way of knowing when the engine is running. We find with the older motorhomes, these work incredibly well not to have to use D+. So with the older motorhomes, the uh, voltage sensing to know when the engine is running is really spot on and really great. Strangely enough, we find it's a little bit unpredictable with uh, the modern engines, the Euro 6 alternators. And we've questioned a number of other installers and they're finding the same thing. So there are a few of us that prefer to simply use D+, to know when to activate this. But there is some fancy uh, stuff in here that uh, can uh, be used to automatically determine when the engine is running versus not running. So you're not going to just keep on running your starter battery down for nothing. So remember I said there's a bit of overlap between the two. So as, as I said, you could use the converter as a charger to a degree, and you can use this as a, si a power supply as well. And it will pretty much do the same, pretty much the same as the converter but it's quite a lot pricier than the converter, so there's no there's no advantage to buying this to act as a converter. The only time really we've seen this used properly is when people use it as a charger. I've actually never seen I've never seen an example of somebody using this as a converter. When they need a converter, they get a converter. And uh, we've installed loads and loads of these as DC DC chargers from the alternator to the leisure battery. So that's it in in a nutshell. So. This one is to charge your leisure battery from the starter battery and you get them 12, 12. In this case, you get uh, 12, 24, 24, 12. And unfortunately, Victron don't do a like a 12 to 48 volt, but you'd have to get something else if you needed that. Whereas the, the uh, converter recently, we put in a 48 to 12 in a boat and that was quite handy. So, yep, that's uh, hopefully that answers the question for you as to which you need for your situation. So if you have any uh, comments or feedback, really appreciate it. And I uh, hope you have a good day and see you in the next episode. Cheers.